Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, connect to the Matic network. So Matic is a blockchain. DAP Radar has just started uh, tracking the DAPs on Matic. Uh, Matic is particularly used uh, as a uh, kind of sidechain or a layer two solution for Ethereum. So Matic is a is, is not Ethereum. It is a separate. Um, blockchain to Ethereum, but it also works well with Ethereum and has some kind of compatibility. Um, but it is a separate blockchain. And, and as we go through the process of setting up a wallet, um, you'll kind of see get to see um, some of that. But the nice thing about Matic, because it does work with Ethereum, is you can actually, um, or you, yeah, you can actually use an Ethereum wallet. So actually, you need an Ethereum wallet um, in order to kind of use uh, many of the dApps. That are running on Matic because they also run on Ethereum and Matic. So, so kind of Ethereum is the starting point for it. So, this is when we go to the URL wallet.matic.network. You can see here at the top of the screen. Um, so, this is what we see. So, it's saying connect with one of these um, wallets, and these are typical uh, uh, wallets for Ethereum. Um, this is this is browser based. So I'm using a, a Chrome browser. There is a mobile uh, wallet for Matic. Um, that you can use, you can download that from the app stores. Uh, but this, for this one, we are kind of using the the browser-based uh, approach because that's the best way for using uh, Matic, particularly uh, with games. And and currently, Matic is being uh, most used for games, although some DeFi as well. So we first connect using our browser wallet. So here is uh, MetaMask. So you can see it is going to. I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet account. One is going to connect to. Uh, to this Matic network. So um, just go through the normal connection. We do that with any um, with any dApp that we are logging into with MetaMask. It always asks us to sign in. So, and now you can see what happens. So we move to this. So um, as I say, kind of Matic is, is, a, is a new blockchain. It is a bit more geeky. <laughs> Some of the things you have to go through. Um, so uh, there is these, these kind of pop-up things. So, um, you know, effectively, Matic is a separate blockchain from Ethereum, so we need a bridge between the two. So a bridge is just a technical term, but it is a way that basically you're taking assets from one blockchain and bringing them to another blockchain, and and just just called a bridge. There are different ways of doing that. In this case here, we can see um, there are two options. There is the POS bridge, the uh, proof of stake bridge, or the Plasma bridge, uh, and we can see here the the POS bridge takes 30 minutes, um, uses POS security, and supports these. Um, uh, Standards so ETH as a as a cryptocurrency ERC twenty tokens ERC seven twenty one NFTs ERC eleven fifty five NFTs so so that's through this one the Plasma Bridge is a is a way of doing it uh, kind of uh, via Ethereum uh, kind of technology it takes seven days uses this Plasma mechanic can only do certain things so it's basically just telling you um, Matic has this trustway two way transactional channel between Matic and Ethereum there's two ways of doing it um, be aware of that so we're not going to do anything very complicated, so we're not going to worry about that at the moment. So what we can see here is I'm logged into my Matic wallet using my MetaMask, um, and we can see here that on if I look at my Ethereum wallet, it's telling me here. It's seeing it, obviously it can see what's in my Ethereum wallet. So this is what's in my Ethereum wallet, um, and it's also saying there's no Matic um, in there, which is correct. Um, and if we go to the Matic wallet. We can see here there's there's no Matic and there's no ETH. So these are two separate wallets. Obviously on the Ethereum side I've got some assets in there. On the Matic side I've not got anything. And to get things to the Matic wallet I have to send them over. I have to send things from my Ethereum wallet to my Matic wallet. These are two separate wallets, um, even though I'm accessing them through the same interface. So just this is one of the things to get your head around. Um, you know Matic is uh, a different blockchain to Ethereum, but it is linked as well. So um, what we can do here is if we we can um, we can buy some Matic tokens. So we have to go to somewhere like Uniswap. We can do that and buy some Matic tokens, and then we can send those tokens over to the Matic wallet. So just to quickly show you, uh, we're on the Uniswap um, page interface. So uh, app.uniswap.org. That's correct. Um, connected to my wallet, um, and I want to. Um, Get some Matic, so I'm going to select Matic here. Um, so how much Matic do I want? Um, I mean, not really very much, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, so we could say um, 0.1, 0.1 ETH. 
Um, so 0.1 ETH is about $30. Um, you can see I've got 0.45 ETH in my in my wallet. Um, and if I do that, point, a tenth of an ETH is worth 2,100. And 24.26 Matic. So we'll see what the gas price is on that. Um, obviously with the Uniswap, you can swap any uh, tokens, ERC20 tokens, that's the point of it. Um, okay, so we're just gonna click through this. It's gonna ask me to um, sign that across. The gas fee, it's gonna cost me $2.58. Uh, gas fees are expensive at the moment, but um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll, um, we'll uh, uh, agree to do that. Okay, so we can see that transaction's gone through. So now my ETH, uh, VAT number, my ETH to total has gone down by 0.1 and my uh, Matic, I now have some Matic, 2124.26 Matic. Um, now this is in my Ethereum wallet. Um, obviously for it to be any use to me if I want to interact um, on using dApps that are running on the Matic blockchain, I need to send that stuff across. So, okay, so now we have to transfer the uh, our Matic tokens from our Ethereum wallet to our Matic wallet. So um, to do that, we're gonna click onto Matic wallet, which is not the easiest UX actually. <laughs> had, to, had to have a few attempts uh, working this out. Um, and what you have to do here is, is use these buttons here. So you have to deposit. Um, so we go here, go to the deposit button and get this pop up and it tells us we are moving from the Ethereum network to the Matic network. It tells us in our Matic wallet on the Ethereum network we have um, this amount of, uh, of Matic. And we could, let's do, um, let's move 50%. So we're gonna move half of our Matic tokens from our Ethereum wallet to the Matic network. So we're gonna deposit that to the Matic. So we're gonna have uh, this pop up on Ethereum. So you get this with every, um, any time a new uh, dApp uh, interacts with a new token, um, you have to, you have to um, allow the Matic wallet to spend your Matic. So this is just a kind of um, a safety mechanic, um, but it's a gas fee, so you have to pay, have to pay um, for that to go through the Ethereum network. So we'll just wait for that to go through. So once we've approved that, we can now go in and Deposit from Ethereum to Matic. Again, need to sign that with our um, Ethereum wallet. In this case, uh, obviously MetaMask. So we pay another gas fee, obviously because we are uh, using the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So again, we just have to wait for that to clear the Ethereum, uh, get locked into the Ethereum block, the next block available, and then we will have. 1,062.3 Matic tokens transferred over to the Matic. Um, there we go. So that's been deposited. Um, but then a little reminder, um, because we've basically swapped from one blockchain to the next blockchain, um, that there's a kind of longer wait period. It's kind of the same as if you transfer your tokens into a centralized exchange. They always wait a certain amount of they always wait for a certain amount of confirmations on the blockchain, so they wait for a certain number of blocks um, to, to make sure that there's not a um, the block has actually been saved and is properly saved in the blockchain and it's not suddenly reversed. Occasionally, you can get um, uh, kind of forks in the blockchain. So obviously, this is more this is not transferring on the Ethereum blockchain. This is moving to the Matic blockchain, so we're going to have to wait um, for a little bit longer um, just to see that that token balance uh, be highlighted. And now we can finally see that we have transferred um, our tokens from Ethereum to Matic. So we can see here, this is our Matic wallet, and we have those uh, 1,062 Matic tokens. And on our Ethereum wallet, um, we have also 1,062 tokens because we, we sent half of them over to the Matic wallet. So, so now, having uh, transferred those, thing, those tokens over to Matic, we can now go and uh, interact with dApps that are running on the uh, Matic blockchain. And we can also, um, if we need to use this withdrawal um, option, 
send tokens from the MATIC network to the Ethereum network. So here, obviously, this is reversed. We're sending from uh, MATIC to Ethereum. If I wanted to, I could send all that MATIC back. It'd be a bit of a waste of time, wouldn't it? Um, and uh, remember when we first logged in, there's this, there's this kind of option. So you have these two different ways of doing it. So you can um, switch between the uh, the uh, proof of stake option or the excuse me or the plasma option. Plasma is much slower, um, but I guess uh, is, is more kind of secure. But it takes forever, so I don't think any, anyone's going to be using plasma unless there's an awful lot of value you're, you're transferring over. Uh, most people are going to be using this this POS bridge. Um, but this is the uh, these are the options. With Matic, um, as I say, that radar has just started tracking DApps on the Matic network. So I guess we'll be um, doing looking at a lot more of them in detail as more of them go live and, and gain audience. Um, but this is just an introduction to show you how to get value um, onto the Matic network. So I hope that was useful. Um, at that radar, we spend our time uh, playing with DApps and looking at DApps and new blockchains um, and this sort of thing. So hopefully these videos are useful. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're interested in blockchains and dApps. But thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.